Hey kids, Marshall here, back with another video transmission. It's time for another episode of Build a Computer. And so far we've learned about your RAM, motherboard, SSD, and HDD. And we've not only learned the basics of each part, but we've learned how easy it was to replace and install it in your own computer. So I want to give a round of applause to you guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. You learned that all on your own, just with a little help of myself. Now, it's very important to remember that all those parts we learned about, they're like parts of our body. The motherboard is the backbone. The RAM is the short term memory and your SSD solid state drive or HDD hard drive disk is just like the long-term memory well today we're gonna learn about the heart of your computer or otherwise known as your power supply unit for short we'll call this bad boy your PSU <laughs> Wow I'm gonna put that down it's it's a little heavy but boy that is so much easier PSU compared to power supply unit Forget about it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be calling it that from now on. Okay, okay. So you know what time it is now. Let's take a break for a second. Pause the video and make sure you understand everything by going back and watching this over, or go to the other videos on my channel and make sure you're all caught up on the other parts of your computer. Let's come back here in about five minutes. Okay, are we good? You all caught up and refreshed? Good, let's continue. So where were we? Ah yes, the heart of your computer, your PSU. It keeps things pumping and moving along. Just like a hurt heart will affect your body's performance, if your PSU isn't at the right wattage amount to power everything, you may experience a lot of problems. So always, always, always be sure to check on the box how many watts your power supply unit can handle. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be using a 750 watt power supply. Your PSU is the main reason why you can even turn on your computer. And just like how it's important to keep good heart health, the same goes for your power supply unit. A proper PSU will keep your computer parts working at peak performance. Okay, kids, <laughs> we've had a lot of fun so far, huh? Well, we haven't even gotten to the best part yet. We're going to install the PSU. And I'm going to take you step by step on how to do it. It's a lot easier than it sounds. So now if you ever need to install a new power supply unit, you can. You know what? <laughs> Enough talk. Let's go. All right, kids. So this is where the power supply unit is going to go. And like I said, for this video, we're going to use an RM750 by Corsair. Now this PSU is made out of very good material. Notice the fan on the bottom to keep the power supply unit cool. And on this side you have a variety of connections to give power to your computer parts. And when we flip it over, here under this flap you'll see the power switch itself. The circle symbol indicates that it's off and the vertical line symbol indicates that it is on. After you position it in the casses, you will screw it here, 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 and also here to secure it. Hey kids, hey, listen. I told you it wasn't gonna be hard to do it. I told you installing that PSU is gonna be a piece of cake next time that you have to do it. 
And if you didn't understand anything that we talked about in this video, it's okay. Not everybody gets it their first time. Rewind, go back, and relearn everything that we talked about. Everything that I showed you is as easy as one, two, three. So kids, what did we learn today? Well, for starters, we learned that your power supply unit, otherwise known as your PSU, comes in many different wattages. And it's very important that you have the right wattage amount to power your computer properly. Secondly, we learned that your PSU is just like your heart. And in order to maintain peak performance in your body, your heart has to be very, very healthy. Well, the same goes for your computer. If you want your computer to be running at its best, you have to make sure that your PSU is also very, very healthy. Well, that's all I have for today, kids. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for another one next week. I hope you had a fun time. I'll see you then.